Alright, sons, adventurers, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We are back in Batu yet again. We have ridden Rise of the Resistance, but we have not played around with game that is available on that ride. I'm gonna help the Resistance, she's gonna help the First Order, and we're gonna see how that works. How does it tie into the storyline? Is it a fun game to play? Come with us on this adventure. So we got to the Esplanade about 10 minutes after seven, and we were on like one of the first trams and already the whole plaza is filled. Today is magic morning. Hotel guests get into Disneyland an hour early, and all the gates in the middle of the Esplanade are just dedicated to them. And the line for normal people, it wraps all the way back to Disney California Adventure, wraps all the way back up to the entrance of Disneyland, in a U, and then all the way back to Disney California Adventure again. I know, this, is, this whole situation is so stressful, because we got here so early. We got here at like 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, we're somehow now stressed out about not even the, the, I can't even talk. It's supposed to be the happiest place on earth. What people call this like the Hunger Games of Disney. I'd be happier if I had a coffee, but I'm even too stressed out to go do that because I, I'm afraid I'm not gonna make it back in the line in time. A guy right in front of us in line is wearing an ILM VFX sweatshirt and it has, it's cool, it has a bunch of Star Destroyers in the sky on the back of the sweatshirt. I'm sure most of the people watching this video probably know, but for those of you who don't know, if you want to get on the new ride, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, you got to be in the park before opening. Passes, boarding groups for this ride go out within a minute of the park opening. There is no fast pass for currently. There is no standby line. So you need to be in the park opening with your Disneyland app, with all of your group's tickets connected, and press the button at the exact time the park opening, which today is at 8 a.m. 7.56. We got here with four minutes to spare. One minute to go. Oh, my life is over. Good luck, you guys. Yeah, same thing. Thank you. you. Okay, here we go. Everything depends on this. 7.59. I have my finger ready to tap the screen. Eight. Loading, mine's not loading. Mine's not loading. I feel the pain looking around and seeing all the people who like haven't gotten it yet compared to the people who are cheering. Oh my god. We got 57, so I mean, that's a big positive from last time we tried. I'm glad you got through because when I was pressing it, it just wasn't loaded. And it said I had full bar, so. We are like on the very crowded Main Street. We got here so early, I, we had this whole plan where we're gonna go to downtown Disney and get as far away as people as we could, but it just didn't work out. The Disney Hunger Games, <laughs> it has begun. 2,000 years later. It's 12 p.m. and we just got the notification that it's time for our boarding group. We are boarding group 57. I feel like they're going through them fast today. We lucked out. We're heading over there right now and I cannot wait. And I love the animation of the little droid on the app when the time has actually been called. So cute, so appropriate, Yeah, I feel awesome. Like, I feel like not a lot of people notice that, but it's so adorable and it's getting me so excited. One of the things we really haven't played around with here in Batu is the data pad adventures on your phone through the Disney Play app. And with the opening of Rise of the Resistance, they have just opened up an entire new game. So we're gonna go to that right now. I'm going to join the Resistance and Kitra's gonna join the First Order in this game. And we're gonna see how this works in the queue line for this ride. I just got a transmission from Finn. He's aboard a First Order Star Destroyer and he's asking for my help. He was up there trying to delete Resistance Intelligence off their data banks. Uh, he got separated from his team and of course, then I got you. I just asked him where he was. He says he's hiding in the custodial room somewhere near the bow of the ship. That makes sense. 
Finn worked in co uh, custodial duties on uh, Star Destroyer, so it makes sense that you'd be there hiding out. <laughs> he says unpleasant memories here for sure. I'm sending you an encrypted map now. Tune into this transmission and get, get the data. So I'm trying to tune in. So it's just this like mini game that you have to align the lines to, to get, get it right. And I acquired the signal, got an achievement from that, and I could view the transcript if I want. Now Finn's asking me to just decrypt the plan so, so you can see my location. Th these games are like mini games that are meant for children, so it, it's very easy to do. I got a piece of the Star Destroyer's map, and now I'm gonna have, I gotta help him hack with the data pad. The blast door there, and he can't get through. To hack, basically you just gotta connect the same colored things to the same colored things. I got the data. So I directed Finn to the armory and I found him a Stormtrooper armor. I'm gonna equip him with it. I'm helping Finn hack into a terminal. He's on the First Order Star Destroyer and I'm down here on Butt 2 and I'm helping him out. I'm here to be part of the First Order and to infiltrate these resistance scum. I'm gonna go undercover and I'm gonna work my way to make sure that nothing goes right for them. I need an informant to pose as a resistance recruit and collect information on the resources. Once you have the information, the First Order can form a devastating attack to wipe out the resistance once and for all. Sounds good. I'm ready to help out the First Order. The First Order needs to get a lay of the land. They need to see what's inside of this secret base. And they, could, they want to see if I can intercept any transmissions to gain more information about the area. I'm good at this, obviously. And then you line up those two. Line them up where? On those things? I've acquired the signal. Scrambled. I have to unscramble it. This is a game made for children and I don't know how to play. <laughs> I found a map. Right, so it's asking me where I am. I got a map. All right, I've done scramble something yet again. This is hard work. I intercepted a transmission of the resistance and it's a Vi saying that the Force Order crews are on Batu and that they need to put on clothes to look like they're locals so they don't get spotted. And I'm reporting it back the first order so they know. Vi is wearing like a bright orange jumpsuit that looks very similar to like a <laughs> our rebel jumpsuit so Vi might, might want to take her own advice and change out of that. Well you've been trying to hack resistance si signals and feed them to the first order. I've been navigating Finn around the Star Destroyer and I just now got him to the droid service area. I'm gonna help him Hacking to some R5 droids here, or attached to some kind of transports. Hmm. I'm gonna hack into one of them. So let's see. Hack. Uh, also, it should be mentioned here that there are all these mini games, which are sometimes fun, sometimes annoying. If you don't want to play them, you can still skip them. I have overridden the transports. Now, Finn has control of a bunch of R5 transports that might help us out a little bit later. We think the ride broke down. <laughs> We just got in line and we're like in the first room and uh, we're all just sitting here, so. At least we've got this fun game to play. Game. I don't know what game you're speaking of. I'm helping Finn, he's stuck in a Star Destroyer. He's trying to delete some some resistance intel and uh, he's lost his team. And I just happened to, happened to help him hack into an R5 transport unit and that's gonna hopefully help him escape the, uh, the Star Destroyer. Interesting. This is all useful information that I will be, oh, I should, uh, that I will be reporting back on. Thank you. The, the Rebel base is on Dantooine. Finally, I found a crate that I could scan. So interested what's in this crate. So inside of this crate, it looks like there's just some local Batuan garments. I guess these are the clothes that they're going to be disguised in. So I will report that, and now we know I should I should probably take this, you know, so they can't. It's making me hack this tactical display. Finally, I get to hack something. Let's do it. This is a, a chart that it looks like it has a significant portion missing. This informa information is useless unless we find the 
section that's missing. I need to locate specific markers on the chart to help pinpoint the location in the galaxy. On the monitor, count how many of these symbols you see. It's a little round symbol that's blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think there's ten. So that seems like an anomaly with the charts we have on file. I'll have the navigation teams look at it. Analysis shows this room has no further systems of importance to the first order. So I guess I counted wrong. Ha ha, the resistance wins again. There was actually 12. She got it wrong, so she didn't help the first order like she wanted to. That was an epic fail. We're in, on to the next room. I'm going to see if there's something I can do to help in this room. I successfully scanned something else. How exciting. Let's see what's inside. This was shipped by the Onaka Transport Solutions. And it is... Hondo, my old friend. Yes. Turns out that this crate is full of grenades. This is definitely being reported. See, I didn't even need a scanner for that, because you can see them right yeah. here. And I'm letting them know that it was Onaka Transport Solutions that facilitated these grenades. Oh my god. I just got contacted by Ray. We wiped the First Order databanks of resistance intelligence and got some reputation for the resistance. She says that's excellent news. She thanks. Ray thanked me for sharing the information. Because of you, the resistance can fight another day. I hope we can count on your help with us again in the future. May the force be with you. I think that's the end. I've helped Finn to hack the droids, to, get, uh, to wipe the databanks, to get information on the First Order. And Ray even called me a hero. I mean, she didn't call me a hero, but I may as well be a hero, right? I see that we've made our way into the Resistance flight pe prep room. And there's a bunch of flight suits in here. And I'm going to report back of what I've found. There's data encoded on the suits. I'm going to hack into this little guy right here. I'll alert all the TIE fighter pilots that they may be performing missions shortly. Good to know the TIE fighter pilots are ready to attack. Basically, you just go room to room, seeing what they have, figuring out who their pilots are, and reporting back to the First Order. And I've gathered enough information, so I've seen all I need to see. I think we know what the Resistance is up to here. I've completed my report to General Hux. The First Order is appreciates my discipline and a comprehensive approach. And I just got a bunch of credits. You're welcome. I will gladly serve you first order. Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I have been tasked with getting you to Pakara. coming from prepare to be boarded tell them nothing the future of the resistance is at stake i have a bad feeling about this i was the one who informed the tie fighters they were ready to go mission accomplished i don't think i hacked this one i mean hack i don't know what i'm talking about Oh guys, I got a bad feeling about this. Packed a bunch of stuff in uh -huh. the Do not touch officers of the first order. You have not identified yourself properly, therefore to me, you are still an enemy of the first order. Fair, that's fair. Move along. I I'm resistant, so. We know. Yeah, they know. I, I don't know where the secret base on Bakara. I mean, uh, the the uh, uh, Alderaan. Uh huh. Do you not study history in the Resistance? Are you not aware that Alderaan was destroyed close to forty years ago? I I may have forgotten that lesson. Do not forget that we have the Star Killer base and are not afraid to use it. But the Star Killer base blew up. So you think, but I assure you, it is still 
there. Don't forget it. <laughs> I keep on walking. I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Move along, sympathizer. I was walking backwards and the guy just kept on coming at me. It, w it was intimidating, to say the least. I'm glad I didn't give up the resistance space on Bakara. I mean, you, you know. Oh my god, you keep saying it. I'm, ba I'm bad We're at gonna, secrets. I have a feeling that was the missing piece in the map. That, okay, now I know, so <laughs> thanks. Probably. Thanks. I will be informing the Supreme Leader. I hope you got this on camera, but he was directing me where to go, and I, honest to God, thought he wanted a, a high five because I'm part of the First Order, and he, <laughs> he's like, don't touch me. <laughs> he didn't believe me quite yet, but it's okay. We know. We know what I did. Hold here. How many in it? Two. On Greg. Don't worry. I've been in contact with Finn, and I helped reprogram some transport droids, some R5s. I think... He heard my alert, and he'll help us get out of this mess. Well, it's actually kind of cool how us doing our missions affected this ride. He would have never, I would have never known that. And I feel, I feel special knowing how this all occurred. It's awesome. You guys should play that game if you're stuck in that line. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Alright everybody, just waiting on the transmission here from Finn, then we'll get you guys out of here, okay? This here's our five, I programmed him myself. Uh, hopefully he knows uh, where you guys need to go, but don't count on it. Yeah. If he breaks down, does anybody else know how to reprogram an R5 unit? Yes. He does. He does. Yeah, right. are, are you part of the like yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I thought the Finny was looking for you. Okay, perfect. You should be here in just a minute. You guys didn't let him know anything in the cell, did you? Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Okay, turn right. Turbo lift and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the doors are the prisoners. <laughs> Shields. I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All person out to their station! Ah, the prisoners have escaped! <laughs> We did the data pad adventure on Rise of the Resistance, and I do, do think it's pretty cool. I think from the Resistance side of things, like I affected some stuff that ended up being in the ride. Like I, I hacked the droids to help Finn find the green team. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. But a lot of it was just like me completing games and not actually doing anything physical in the rooms, which is weird because it's the Resistance base. So you think I could help the Resistance in some way on the base, but. I don't know. You, as the First Order, were doing more hands-on stuff. Hacking stuff, I was transmitting stuff back to General Hux, giving him all the info that he needed. Mine was way more interactive than yours. You let them know about X-Wing, so that's why they sent the TIE yeah. Fighters out in, in advance of the Star Destroyer. It was all because of me. It's all your fault yeah. that this ride is so awesome. If you're stuck in that line, and it, it's yeah. real easy to just scan and go and get the info, and it's fun. The same games, doing the same hack and tune, it kind of gets a little bit old. And there was also times that we were in line and like the line was moving and we were still scanning yeah. stuff and we felt like we were in the way of things. So yeah. it, it, it's a little weird. Yeah. But overall, I think it's worth trying once. Yeah. Plus you get some credits out of it. Yeah. Some, you know, digital galactic credits. Yeah. And you also get some achievements that can be unlocked in the app. If you unlock the heroes, the hero of the resistance achievement, you can actually buy a physical pin. And it's actually a pin I want to buy. I've never bought a Disney pin inside the parks. So why don't we go buy that? Yeah, let's go let's do it. Let's see if it's Wait, available. Do I get a pin too for my evil deeds or? It would be the same pin. Honestly, you don't even have to play the Datapad app. You just gotta 
be logged into the Disney Play app and go on the ride. Yeah. So anybody who rides the ride and is logged in gets gets the ability to buy the pin. Yeah, let's go find those pins. We were just walking around Batu, and one of our ordinary adventurers, Jeff, over here, came over and was like, "I bought this red Kyber crystal for you." So it's Black Kyber Challenge time. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so close. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Do you want it or should we give it away? You guys give it away. Give it away? Yes, please give it away. Okay. Thank All you, right. Jeff. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Good to meet you. Guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Ten seconds later. Okay, so it's Black Kyber Challenge time again. And it's thanks to Brady and his dad. I spoiled myself and my son and Ordinary Adventures. I got 10 red crystals in here. You oh guys can God. grab one. Do you want me to? Yeah. You you yeah. <laughs> oh I saw like what I thought was black. I got really excited. Darn it. Thank you so much, Brady. <laughs> I appreciate it. Or should we give it away? To... I got nine more in my pocket. I so. say give it away. Give it away? Yep. All right. You heard it. If you want to win this, I'll put all the info right here. And uh, hey, another one for the giveaway. We're going into the shop called Westward Ho Trading Company in Frontierland. We did find the pin. This is the pin for the Rise of the Resistance. If you go on the ride, you can actually get this pin. They also have two other pins. They have one for if you ride Smuggler's Run, and they have one if you achieve some like data pad stuff around Galaxy's Edge. I really like this Rise of the Resistance pin because it really shows your escape pod escape from the Star Destroyer. It's really neat and a good, good memory from Galaxy's Edge, even though you can't purchase it in Galaxy's Edge. We did do a video once of our other data pad adventures around Galaxy's Edge. I think that might have even been fireworks that night. Yeah, it's a good video. You guys should check it out. We'll put it right over there for you to watch. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do that. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.